foodies are rejoicing here in Calgary. The Big Taste kicks off today in YYC, where 100 downtown and inner city restaurants are participating in a 10 day foodie festival. So much fun. So, just to give us a little taste of what to expect here this morning, Chef Michael Bonaccini, you might recognize him as a judge on MasterChef Canada or from City Line, and Chef Ryan O'Flynn, one of our favorites from the Guild. Thank you both for being here. Thanks for having us. So tell us a little bit about what the Big Taste actually is. What can we expect? The Big Taste is, is a great foodie event here in the city of Calgary. And as you've mentioned, there are many tremendous restaurants that are participating in that event. And I often say you can judge the caliber of a city by the caliber of its restaurants. Ooh. And Calgary has some amazing restaurants really that are participating. Do. You really yeah. do. Very, very fortunate. And it's the first time that we're participating. And it's an opportunity for dining guests to go to a favorite restaurant, try a new restaurant. Mm -hmm. There are prefix menus at set prices, three courses. For example, at the Guild, we're doing a $25 lunch where you get multiple choices in the courses, but three courses. And then the same for dinner, $35 for a three-course dinner. And it's just a great way to eat and dine your way around the city. How much so, fun uh, is that? It runs for 10 days. It's fabulous. It's wonderful. Maybe put on a little weight, but Maybe enjoy it. Maybe put on a little weight, but you have a good time doing it, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So tell us what the Guild's got on offer, Ryan. Um, well, what we're going to do is one of the dishes here is uh, we're going to do pork and beans. So nice. really, really cool uh, just because we, we make our own bacon. This is our Guild bacon um, that we cure, and then we smoke it in our smoker, and it's smoked predominantly in birch. Um, so a local indigenous wood that we're using as well, too. And it wouldn't be Alberta if we didn't have kielbasa. <laughs> of course. So, and everyone argues it's like the French cassoulet around here. It's everyone right. says, my kielbasa is better than yours. And my <laughs> grandpa did it like this. Right. So, so we, do, we do a great one. We use Sprague's for, uh, Farms oh, pork. Sure. Um, they're fantastic. And we use that, and we grind it down. And then we also smoke this in birch. So that's going to go into our pork and beans which we use a northern white bean, which is a local bean as well, too. And it's absolutely fantastic with uh, some smoked hawk, um, our belly pork, and uh, just some root vegetables as well, too. So it's, it's, oh, nice. it's great. So it's like a one-pot dish then, too. Totally, yeah. And it helps a lot because as everyone else is gaining weight, I'm yeah. losing it for the next <laughs> 10 days. So. Of course you are. You're running around like crazy. Yeah. Wonderful. So did you want to make this together or yeah. is it all ready in the pot? Well, I'll just demo a little bit here. I got the pot here and I'm gonna, I'll, I'll plate it up in a second. But I sure. just want everyone, if, if the camera could come here, just to have a look inside sure, Aaron, of this bacon. Sure, Aaron, have get a shot of this right here if we can fill that up. Oh, look at that. Nice. And let's have a look inside there, how perfect that you is. You can show that to Aaron right there at that camera. How gorgeous is that? Look at that Canadian bacon right there. You know, Thank you very uh, much. It's Just fantastic. Right joy. Right? And, uh, and then our kibasa here. It's, um, I love it. It's uh, one of our chefs who's Ukrainian. Oh, um, perfect. Yeah, it's, it's a recipe based <laughs> off of that. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to waste any time here. I'm just going to plate this up. I'll move this over here. Sure. We're going to take this beautiful pork and beans. Is this how it comes in the restaurant? Yeah. So you, oh, wonderful. Exactly. So what you're seeing is what you're going to get. That's so great. No false advertisement here. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, so there we have it there with a little bit. We like to um, deep fry some shallots. And Ooh, just add yummy. Texture. Give it a little crunch. Yeah, just on top. Yeah. And, uh, it smells just, wonderful, doesn't it? Does, it does, doesn't it? Beautiful. And there's something sort of reassuring and calming about pork and beans, right? Of course, this is fancy, but it Absolutely. smells so familiar. Yeah, it's comfort food. It's, it's comfort fine. Food. It, it is, is comfort best. food. Absolutely it is. Absolutely right. Beautiful. That looks delicious. Thanks. So is this available all week long, or how does it work? You know what? We actually, yeah, yeah, we actually have it on our menu anyway. So okay. we're not looking to do something less expensive just because it's big taste. We want to showcase what we're doing anyways and be able to give it to people and make it accessible to everyone. Fantastic. It looks and smells experience. delicious and have the Guild experience. Okay, so there you've got it. It goes 100 plus restaurants in a 10-day foodie festival. It starts today, as we mentioned. It runs all the way until March 12th. So so many opportunities to check out so many great restaurants right here in the city. Thank you both Thank so you. much for being here Thanks. this weekend. Come